Konnichiwa, this is the Shogunstein, and this is a look at the two-player setup of the Kickstarter game Rap Gods. I unboxed on a previous video, and I've been going through the rules and going through the components, and I just want to show you how to set up a two-player game in this rap-themed, music-themed board game. So you can see the board is very unique with a, a record here and some really cool artwork. It's very thematic. So what happens is you uh, set up these uh, tokens here, these pickup tokens, and there you have uh, swag and you have skills and you have street smarts. And you'll see that uh, you can see how the, uh, the, the numbers work. On here so again you'll see the uh, street smarts and the swagger and the, the skills and what happens is when you uh, figure out who which rapper and which city you're gonna be uh, use as your home turf so there's a whole bunch of rapper cards that you're gonna be uh, choosing from so there's gonna be a lot of uh, replayability in the game there's a whole bunch so what's gonna happen is you randomly pick each player is going to randomly pick two from the wrapper deck. And again, as I showed in the unboxing, there's a whole uh, variety of different wrappers, very diverse group of uh, musicians here. And you'll pick two cards, and you'll pick um, one of those two. And then same thing with the city cards, your home base. So what will happen is you'll pick uh, randomly, you'll pick two of the city cards, and then you'll pick one. And the city cards show you where you're going to start with swag, skills, and street smarts. So you can see that uh, I'm playing as uh, the uh, Lovecraft uh, kind of uh, rapper, and I am using the yellow cubes. I usually use yellow because I'm colorblind. And you can see that it's, you know, the starting is going to be a zero, for the uh, swag, so again, zero for swag, and you're gonna see uh, two for the um, skills, and then four for street smarts, and then little Shogunstein also started at zero, but then here he is at uh, four, and then over here at street smarts he's at two. So, and you'll see that he got. Uh, that's his rapper, Master DB Fresh, who he thought reminded him of Pete Davidson from SNL. And his city is going to be Detroit, and my city is going to be New York. Now, you're also, what you're going to do is you're going to set up, uh, you have a tracker on the album. So, again, uh, it's the beginning of the game. So you're going to have your uh, crossfaders. So it's going to be an album one. And then over here in the track, it'll be track one. Now you're also setting up that you have album cards. So at the beginning of the first round, each player is going to get five album um, cards. And then you're also going to have where, what you're trying to score, which is your points. And those are, you can have your stacks of the... Uh, plaques. So you're going to have your single point, you're going to have your five point, and then you're going to have your 25 point. And then here you're going to put your city tile. So what happens is, again, uh, I was New York, Little Shogunstein was Detroit, and because we're playing a two-player game, we had to pick a third city. And you'll see the spaces here. If we were playing a three-player game, or if we were playing a four-player game. You see that also here with the come-ups cards and with the, um, the uh, goal tokens, the, uh, the goals tokens. So the goals tokens, again, because we're playing two players, the champ one always goes here, and then these other two, because, again, we're doing a two-player game, were chosen randomly. It would be a th another goal here if it was a three-player game, another goal here if it was going to be a four-player game game. There are three sets of these uh, tokens for the, uh, the pickups, and they are done randomly also because there's going to be something under them. So again, those are random. So in the come-ups cards, 
we have three decks. We have deck one, deck two, deck three. So for the beginning of the, the game, based on the number of players we have, we turned over uh, one, two, three cards based on having uh, the come up cards based on having a two player game. So we have our uh, beef dice over here. And again, we have each player is going to have their own group of markers. So here's my yellow with uh, a bigger, two bigger cubes and his little Shogunstein's green. So that is the setup for a two player game of uh, Rap Gods. And we are uh, almost ready to start. We've been going over the, the rules. We're looking forward to it. And, uh, you know, when I did the unboxing, I, I wasn't sure what certain things did. But having gone over the, the rules now and uh, having studied the components a little more, uh, definitely uh, know a lot more than I did in that unboxing video. So again, we have our uh, tracks. We have our album, keeping track of our album. We have our goals tokens. We have our album cards. And again, we're going to start off with each player is going to get five. We have our come ups. And... These three are face up. And again, you're going to look to make sure to see how many players you have because it's going to change the number of cards you are going to use. And again, you're going to get two random uh, wrappers, two random cities. You're going to pick, uh, you know, one of each from the two. So uh, again, here's a little Shogunstein's. Here's mine. And again, based on our values in our home base, we're going to set up our small resource cubes. We have our, again, our city uh, home base uh, tokens here. Because it's two players, we needed that third one. And we're all set to play Rap Gods. Again, a very uh, beautiful presence on the, the table. Very uh, colorful. Definitely the art is fantastic. So uh, I imagine someday when we get back to a... Uh, you know, a game store with a playing area, or maybe even going back to a place where there are conventions again, this game's going to get a lot of notice because of just uh, how great it looks on the, the table. The cards are pretty good quality. Um, you have your uh, um, you have your little cubes. You have, again, uh, you have your tokens. You have your uh, plaques, uh, all very good quality. And again, a beautiful board. So now it's just a question of how it plays. So we're going to uh, make sure we know all the rules and we're going to get some games in. And then we'll let you know what we think of Rap God. So certainly the look of it is fantastic. Now we'll see how it plays and we'll look at, you know, uh, the weight of the game and, uh, you know, how much replayability it has. But I can tell you that based on the number of cards here and the number of cities you can pick and the number of DJs there are there's definitely be a lot of replayability here so this is a look at the setup for rap gods this is the Shogunstein out